OK, busy, busy, busy. Nine players remaining. Good luck, everybody. Fastest finger first again. Here comes the next question tonight. Starting with the fewest, put these national flags in order of the number of stars on each. So four different national flags coming up. I want the one with the fewest stars on, going up to the one with the most stars on. Right, here they are. China, USA, Israel, New Zealand. The audience looking absolutely bewildered. <laughs> Starting with the fewest, then. Um, easiest, first of all, Israel's only got one star on, then New Zealand's got four, uh, China's got five, and the one with the most stars, USA has now got 50 stars on. Right, that's the right order. Nine contestants left. How many got it right? Only one! Diana Ingram in 5.38 seconds! Hey, Diana! Hi. That's very, very good. Play for a million pounds while you're on your way through. Yes, I think so. I think so. Now, this is Diana Ingram. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Think of all the uh, combinations we've had. You're the first brother and sister that have come since the, uh, since the show began two and a half years ago. This is for £100. Question number one. Here we go. Which of these names is most associated with a monster? Frank Boff. <laughs> Frank Butcher. Frankenstein. Frank Carson. I think it's Frankenstein. I would accept Frank Carson on this one, actually, but it is the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> OK, you've got £100. Question number two is for 200 Take your time. Here it is. If someone is described as peckish, they are slightly what? In pain. Cold. Tired. Hungry. That's hungry. Hungry is the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Question number three for 300 Here it is. Just be aware on these early ones, if you did give me a wrong answer, you go home with nothing at all. I'm sure it won't happen. Just be aware of those lifelines if you need them. This is question number three. Which of these is a TV comedy starring Dawn French? The barmaid of Dibley. The teacher of Dibley. The vet of Dibley. The vicar of Dibley. That's the vicar of Dibley. Right answer, you've got £300. <laughs> OK, question number four for 500 quid. Have a look. Which phrase refers to a tournament in which each competitor plays against each other? Round Robert. Round Robin. Round Richard. Round Rupert. Round Robin. Right answer, £500. <laughs> You're going rather well, isn't it? At the moment. So far, 500 quid. Just be aware, Diane, the last point at which uh, you could go home with nothing at all. I'm sure it won't happen. You have got those three lifelines. Just uh, take your time, have a look at this. Give me the right answer. You're guaranteed to get up to at least £1,000 tonight. This is question number five. Which profession is commonly abbreviated as PR? Puppy rearing. Proof reading. Pigeon racing. Public relations. I think that's public relations. It is public relations. You've got a £1,000. <laughs> Feeling calm? No, not really. No, I'm not. No, no. Question number six, then, is for £2,000. Have a look, you might as well play this, you've got £1,000 guaranteed. What name did the Romans give to London? Lundus. Londinium. Lundo. Lundy. You've got a thousand pounds for two thousand pounds. What name did the Romans give to London? Lundus. Londinium. Lundo. Lundy. What do you think, Diana? I am thinking that it might be Londinium. It is Londinium. Final answer. Yes. 
You just won two thousand pounds. He's clapping away up there, your brother. He doesn't want you to win any more money, but he's clapping anyway, just sort of um, showing faith, really. Got 2,000. Have a look at 4,000 pounds. Have a look at that. Question number seven. You have got three lifelines. You haven't touched any of them yet. In which of these films did Gene Hackman appear as villain Lex Luthor? Flash Gordon. Batman. Spider-Man. Superman. I think it's Superman, Chris. You see it? It's yes, film? yeah. It's a long time ago, though. Do you remember going, look, it's Gene Hackman? Not specifically, no, but if my memory serves me right, it, it was Superman. Can you play it? Yes, because I haven't seen Spider Man or Flash Gordon. It's the right answer. You got £4,000. <laughs> Now, you're three away from 32,000. You're three away from your unbearable brother's total. <laughs> and you have got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number eight. It's for 8,000. You don't have to play this, but you've got 4,000 at the moment. Give me a right answer, you double your money. Here it comes. Which of these is not a genuine region of Australia? Northern Territory. South Australia. Western Australia. Eastern Territory. One of those is not a genuine region of Australia. It's worth £8,000. I think... I think it might be Eastern Territory. Good play. I'll ask the audience, Chris. Ask the audience. I think so, yeah. OK, audience only keypads, please. Let's get Diana up to £8,000. This is the question, which of these is not a genuine region of Australia? A, B, C or D, all vote now. <laughs> you might have influenced them a bit, but that's very high, 91%. I can't have influenced that, them that much, can I, really? Play? Yes. Final answer? Yes. It's the right answer. You've got eight thousand pounds. <laughs> right. Um, you've got eight thousand. You're two away from the same amount of money that your brother uh, took from the show. Question number nine is for sixteen thousand. You've got eight thousand at this moment. With whom did Dolly Parton sing a duet on the chart hit Islands in the Stream? Garth Brooks, Kenny Rogers, Vince Gill, James Ingram. It's for £16,000. <laughs> Phone a friend. Okay, you get a phone. Um, Russell. Russell? Okay, we we'll phone him. <clears throat> Will you know this? Is he um, up on his music? Yes, he's quite good on music. Okay, he's quite well known. He might well know. 30 seconds, tell him the question, four possible answers. Uh, do you want me to tell him the £60,000 of state? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Russell. It's Chris Tarrant here. Hello, Chris. Hiya. Uh, Diana's here. She's on £8,000, which is good news, Russell, but we're trying to get her up to £16,000. Now, okay. the next voice you hear will be Diana. She's had 30 seconds. OK. She's the question. There are four possible answers. One of them, obviously, is the right answer. It's worth £16,000. OK. OK. OK, lots of luck. Fingers Thanks. crossed, Diana, you've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. OK. Hi, Russell. Hi, Diana. With whom did Dolly Parton sing a duet on the chart hit Islands in the Stream? Garth Brooks, Kenny Rogers, Vince Gill or James Ingram? Kenny Rogers. Absolutely sure? Uh, say, say them again, quickly. Garth Brooks, Kenny yeah. Rogers, Vince Gill or James Ingram? Kenny Rogers. Are you certain? 80-90%. Uh, OK. Thanks, Russell. OK, then. Bye. Bye. 
you get 89 per cent from? 80 to 90, I think. Oh, 80 to 90, I'm so sorry. So. I think so. <laughs> okay, uh, it's up to you. You got 8,000? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go for Kenny Rogers. Final answer? Yes. It's absolutely right, you got 16,000 pounds. I was in the stream. Great big hit for uh, Dolly and Kenny Rogers in 1983 all around the world. You've got £16,000. You've got one lifeline left. This is getting a bit serious now because you are one away from your brother's total. He got to £32,000. Take your time. Have a look at question number 10. It's worth £32,000. Tell me what you want to do. <laughs> Which of these is a type of shark? Matron. Doctor. Nurse. Surgeon. It's worth thirty-two thousand pounds. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's a nurse shark. I seem to. Have... I seem to have heard that. Somewhere. Lose fifteen thousand if you're wrong. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to play mm. nurse. Final answer. Final answer. You came here hoping for thirty-two thousand pounds. You just won £32,000. Oh, and you still have one lifeline left.